We had an MJF Brian Danielson video, which is funny because the show ends five seconds later with a promo segment. But the point of the video is that MJF is a rich prick and Danielson is a hippie who likes to meditate on top of mountains. That was fine. And they're both training hard for their match. They're both training very, very hard for their match. And then the promo, which was 100 times better. And Brian was out for his promo. He is immediately interrupted by Max, who's being MJF. But after all these weeks, maybe these months, Danielson's had it. No more. Tells Max to shut the hell up. You won't let him get a word in. He's taking over this week. By the way, I should mention this. Remember last week they had that awesome brawl when we talked about how awesome it was? Both guys looked very beat up here. Danielson's eye was all bruised up on the side. MJF had a bruise on his lip. So there's a reason it looks so great. Anyway, Max Bryan says, Danielson, Danielson says, you don't deserve anything. You haven't fought for anything. The only thing you deserve is your fiance leaving you. I fought poverty. I fought depression. I fought head injuries. I fought shoulder injuries. I fought retirement. I fought the authority. I fought for everything. And I had a job that would have paid me the rest of my life. I came to AEW because I wanted to fight. And my dream is being AEW champion. I'm ready to fight for it. And Max starts to make his way to the ring. And Jason warns him, don't get in here. Do not get in here. Because come tonight or come Sunday, and he stops. And he considers his words very carefully. And he says, you are going to get your... And there's all sorts of weird audio shuffling and censoring. He said, you better be ready to fight with everything you have Sunday for 60 full minutes. Because if you don't, you're going to get your fucking head kicked in. And the fans start singing, you're going to get your fucking head kicked in. Max's eyes grow wide. Thinking, God damn. And he never said a word. No, he, he, he said, like, wait, wait, when he came out and got cut off and that was it. But Max did the same thing, essentially, that Christian did. Dumbstruck. He did not leave, but he stood there in silence as the show ended. That was an up and down, very weird episode of Rampage all in all. There was some great stuff and there was some bad stuff. Loading up on some liquid energy here. Uncle Howdy. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? <laughs> That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. Why You're does he do that? me to explain Uncle Howdy. Yes. Somebody needs to put that to music, some 70s song, for the best of the Brian and Vinny show. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. Why does he do this? Why does he do this? That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. We're going to get kicked off whatever run. You just disgusted Granny. That's like the Uncle Howdy thing. What a jamming song that is. Yeah, keep it off this show, please. If you enjoy these videos, for just $7.99 per month, you can enjoy full-length editions of the Brian and Vinny Show, Wrestling Observer Live, Figure Four Daily with Tom Lawler and Lance Storm, the Mad Men Podcast, Speak Now Pro Wrestling with Denise Salcedo and more, plus hundreds of archived shows, all in beautiful HD. Don't miss out. Join us today.